Good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 12, 2018. And one of my followers suggested that I do a ratio put spread on Facebook. So the first thing I want to do is look at a one year daily chart of Facebook. We can see that Facebook hit a high right there on July 25, 2018, and then it had a huge gap down after earnings. Then it tried to recover, but hit a little bit of resistance with the moving averages, and now it's back down again. Looking at the 50-day moving average, it is trending down and we may end up with a death cross soon if Facebook continues to drop or stay in this region. Looking at the stochastics, we are in an oversold region. So the question is, is this the bottom? And if yes, is Facebook going to start rising again? Or is this death cross going to materialize and Facebook will continue to drop? Well, obviously nobody knows because nobody has a crystal ball. And that's why the ratio put spread is a good strategy to use on Facebook. If it starts rising, you will make money. If it continues to drop, but not too much, you're going to make more money. If you're new to ratio put spreads, I do encourage you to go back and review my first lesson on ratio put spreads. And I'm going to have a link at the top of this page so you can review that lesson. When I'm selling ratio put spreads, I like to use options that have at least 30 days left until expiration or at most 45 days. So I'm going to look at these three expiration cycles right here. Let's start with October 19, which is the monthlies. We can see from this options chain that the monthly options have strike prices that are $5 apart. And I don't really like that. I like to have them a dollar apart or even better, 50 cents apart. So these are out. Now let's look at the October 12 weeklies. These options look a lot better. These options are a dollar apart, and in this region, they're about two dollars and fifty cents apart. But I, I do like this right here, a dollar wide. So, how am I going to select my options? So when I'm doing a ratio put spread, I kind of go backwards. I start building it step by step. I'm going to start with a short put. And I want to focus on the delta on the short put. Because I don't want to get assigned when I'm selling ratio put spreads. Let's look at this one. This option has a delta of about 24 and that is acceptable that means 
This option has about a 24% chance of being in the money at expiration. So I'm going to start there. This is going to be my short put. And I'm going to sell two of these. Then I need to buy one with a higher strike price. I move up to the 155 and see what that looks like. Right now, Facebook is trading at around 162. So both of these options are currently out of the money. And that's what I want when I'm selling ratio put spreads. So if you do the math and you take these two credits and you subtract out one of these debits, you can see that there's going to be a small credit. A ratio put spread needs to start off with a credit. It is a credit trade. So you get paid up front. In order to do this trade as one transaction, you need to change this from single to a back ratio. But I do want to warn you that a ratio put spread is not a back spread. A back spread is something different. This is called a ratio put spread where you buy one long option and you sell two at a lower straight price. And I'm focusing on ratio put spreads. These are the strikes that I was focusing on. I'm going to buy one at the 155 strike and I'm selling two at the 152.5 strike. So you can see here that it's going to give me a credit between a dollar and ten cents and a dollar and twenty three. We're going to aim for the mid price. And because this is a sell, we're going to click on the bid and put in our limit orders. Here's my trade. It filled at a dollar and seventeen cents. So we bought to open one long put with a straight price of 155 and paid $2.31. And at the same time, we sold two puts with the 152.5 straight price. And we received two credits of $1.74 each. So we have one debit, two credits, add this all together, and we get a net credit of $1.17. We have one ratio put spread, not two. So you take this credit, $1.17, times 1, times 100. Notice that in a ratio put spread, the long options and the short options have the same expiration date and it's always in a ratio of 1 to 2. This is a traditional ratio put spread. Later on you're going to see me do some of these that are going to be a little bit different. I'm going to buy one and maybe sell three or buy one and sell four. So it depends on the, my risk tolerance and what the charts are telling me, I may make my adjustments for this. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it simple and do a 1 to 2 ratio. And so the difference between the two strikes is $2.50. That means if Facebook lands at 152.5 at expiration, your debit put spread in here will be worth $2.52 times one contract times 100. That is an extra $250 plus 
the original 117. So if Facebook lands at 152.5 at expiration, your maximum profit will be the 250 plus the 117 minus commissions. If Facebook stays around 161 or anywhere above 155 at expiration, all of these puts will simply expire worthless and your profit will be 117. If Facebook lands between the two strikes, depending where, on where it lands, you may have some kind of profit. Let's figure out your break-even point. I mentioned earlier that if Facebook lands at 152.5, your debit put spread will be worth $2.50. Add that to the original credit of 117, that gives you $3.67. Take the short strike and subtract 3.67 and you get 148.83. 148.83. That is the break even price. And the reason that is the break even price is if Facebook goes all the way down to 148.83, your naked short put is going to be in the money by exactly $3.67. So it will cost you $3.67 to buy it back. And since you have collected $3.67 in credits, that's a wash. And that's the reason your break even is at 148.83. That means you're not going to lose any money unless Facebook closes below 148.83. So anything above 148.83, you're going to be making a profit. So this is a very nice trade. Let's take a look at the monitor tab and make sure my trade was done correctly. Here's my one long put at 155 strike and two shorts at 152.5. We have 30 days left until expiration. So the fun thing about a ratio put spread is that there are many, many different ways of managing this position. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified each time I upload a new lesson. Thank you for watching and remember to share the knowledge and spread the wealth.